Hi guys, I uh, just thought I would go through the fun I had building this German armoured car. Um, it's the first time I've ever built this type of kit. Uh, 176 scale, it's an Airflex model. Um, it is incredibly, incredibly footy stuff. Um, I had a hard time building it and I'll go through and show you exactly why I had a hard time. These this part here for start um, when I put it on I managed to get a sort of cowling area here um, I managed to get it glued on in the wrong angle so it then looked <laughs> pretty bad you can kind of see it's not quite central it's more over to this side left than it is to the right I think you can see it I can see it I know it's there um, you can see it better there, there's a gap over there where it's not the same there. Um, now that's because I stuck it on when the left it and it was only when I actually put it inside where it was going to go. I realised that it looked terrible and it was a lot better than it was. It was a lot worse than this. You couldn't actually move the gun up and down. What I had to do was break the wee shield there. Um, that aside, uh, doing the wheels, um, again... <laughs> When obviously there's, there's eight wheels on this wee beast here, and when uh, <laughs> when you sit it down like so, there's three wheels are touching the ground. <laughs> Good. Um, so I'll stick a video up after this, and you'll see that what I want you to think of it as it's driving really fast, and that's why it's went over bumps, and there is only three wheels touching because it's actually in mid air. And if you stick with that, then it'll be fine. Now I, I tried. Um, I picked up some of the ammo of MIG paints and some of the weather and stuff just to give it a go. Um, it wasn't bad. I never haven't really used anything like that before. It's hard to say whether it's better than anything else that's out there or not. I know that the actual paints themselves, I did really like using them. And trust me, I have got a variety of paints. And these ones I actually found really smooth to go on. Um, so, yeah, I, I, would, I would recommend them. Um, if you don't have anything else, give them start with them first. Um, even if you have got other stuff, pick up one or two. Just pick a colour that you're going to be using and just give it a go. Um, I think you'll be surprised. I, I, thought, I thought they were good anyway, but that's just my opinion. Um, but doing this type of... If you look at across the front of this, um, you'll see it's not sitting square either. Um, I didn't realise that when I glued this part on, it wasn't sitting properly. And... It's kind of hard. You, you, you'll see exactly what I mean when it's uh, spinning. Yeah, you can see it there. You can see that part there is not running parallel with everything else. Um, I basically had to shave it down to make it fit. I'd left the top part. I'd actually stuck out over the bottom part. Um, again, these are things just not taking your care, just rushing in and wanting to get it done. Because when you get a model, oh, I want to build it, I want to build it. And I think that's what I suffered from here. Um, the camouflage was done just using blue tack. It seems to work really well. Um, painted it, you know, brown first, kind of highlighted it. I, I tried trying to do it um, sort of like um, modulation. Never having done it before, I thought I'd give that a go, but I, I, you can see some of it, but not much. Um, it's pretty hard, I think, at this scale. You can kind of see different colours, I think, between that and the main body. Um, I, I enjoyed doing this. It was, it was might have been easier to try these things on something slightly bigger, but no, I enjoyed it. Um, doing the streaks and the rust, and but at this scale, it's really, really hard. And when I'm holding it back, and I'm thinking, "Oh, that looks really good," but once you get in really close, you realise that yeah, it's not really that good. You can see the, like like so that part there. You can clearly see the sort of the creamy white that should be a sort of faint highlight of the paint or the primer underneath but it just looks like I've painted off well it's exactly what I have done it just looks like I've painted that on there's, there's a good example there it just it's too stark it doesn't blend very well and um, but as I say when you look at it from further away then I think it looks fine um, but it's, it's all learning isn't it so I did enjoy it and as I say it was um, uh, Norm uh, Swinehorn227 who sort of prompted me to do one of these um, because he always he does, but he does just such an amazing job. And it's only actually by trying to do something like this yourself, you realise just how good a job he does. Um, weathering it was fun. I did enjoy weathering it. 
Um, weathering does sometimes help to hide a lot of a lot of your mistakes. Um, but there you go, guys. I'll stick up a wee a wee video at the end, just showing you how it looks like. And as I say, you'll see them once it's sitting there. You'll see that the wheels are just you know there's like one touching and two at the other side. Um, but I'll sort that the next time. I'll, well, I'll take more care of that the next time. I don't know. The next time, maybe you need to do the chassis together. I don't know. I'll come up with something. Anyway, there you go, guys. Hope you like it. And uh, we've been doing that, as I say. And thanks for watching. Bye.